Hi, this is Prateek and welcome to CodeBerry Pi. In this video lesson, we will learn about how to calculate runtime of recursive functions. Now, this is a recursive function in which there are two successive recursive calls. The easiest way to analyze the runtime of these type of functions is to take up a value of n. So, in this case, let's take the value of n to be 4. Now, let's see when f of 4 gets evaluated, then what happens is that when the first time this f of 4 is called, then this if condition is not satisfied, which means our code runs directly to this part. Therefore, there are two recursive calls here. Now each of these recursive calls run individually. So let's see what happens when f of 3 runs. Now when f of 3 runs, again the if condition is violated, which means our code again jumps to the return part and it's again gonna call two successive functions. Therefore at this level there are four function calls. The first time the function was called, this was level 0. The next one was level 1 and this is level 2. So now when the functions at level 2 are evaluated, then again this if block is not satisfied which means the code jumps to this return statement in which again there are two successive function calls. Therefore at level 3 the number of function call is 8. Now again it's time to evaluate functions at level 3 and when that happens then this if statement gets evaluated and it gets satisfied because n is equal to 1 and that returns 1. Therefore, all these functions at level 3 are going to return the value 1 to the upper caller function. Now, when the value reaches to the upper caller function, it's again going to sum up the value and then it's going to return the summation to its upper caller function. Therefore, the value returned by f of 4 is 8. Now, to summarize, for level 0, the number of nodes present was 1, for level 1 it is 2 and for level 2 it is 4, for level 3 it is 8. Now if I represent this in power of 2, then 1 will be equal to 2 to the power 0, 2 will be equal to 2 to the power 1 and 4 and 8 will be equal to 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 respectively. So in this case, the depth of the tree is 3. So in order to generalize this, let's assume that the depth of the tree for n is equal to small n is capital N, which means the number of levels formed in that tree will range from 0 up till n. And at each such levels, the number of nodes will be 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, and so on up till 2 to the power n. And I can also say that at level 0, 2 to the power 0 function calls are present at level 1, 2 to the power 1 function calls are present and at level n, 2, 2 to the power n function calls are present. Now, if I say that the work done by this function or the work done at each level is the number of function calls at that level, then the overall work done will be equal to the summation of the number of function calls at each level. Therefore, the work done will be equal to 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 up till 2 to the power n which comes out to be 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1. Now if I represent this work in terms of a runtime complexity then it would come out to be big O of 2 to the power n which means the time taken by this function for a value of n in which the depth is capital N is big O of 2 to the power depth. And also see that here too is actually the number of branches that are formed when each function gets evaluated. So there might be a case when the number of branches that are formed are actually 3 or 4 or something else. So in that case, if I want to generalize the time taken by the function, it would be big O of number of branches to the power depth. Now since this work done, is actually the number total number of function calls that are made. Let's put the value of n is equal to 3, which in this case is uh, the depth of this, this tree when small n is equal to 4. So when we put capital N is equal to 3, that comes out to be 15. 
you can count it for yourself you will find that number of function calls is actually 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 which is actually 15. Now I will conclude this video by saying that if you are given a problem in which there are multiple recursive calls and there are multiple branches formed in those recursive calls then the time complexity will be big O of the number of branches formed and it will be having the power of the depth of the entire structure of the tree that is formed. So I hope this video tutorial is clear to you. If yes, then like and share this video 